Sal Castaneda, weekday starting at 4.30 a.m. He crash landed his plane in a remote area of the Sierra Nevada. And then he spent 18 hours in the cold before being rescued. His family calls it a miracle. For the first time, we're hearing about what went wrong 13,000 feet in the air. 65-year-old Tim Castle says it was his faith and determination to get back to his family that helped him survive last Monday's plane crash. KTVU's Asnith Smith is live at San Jose's Reed Hillview Airport with his remarkable story. Asnith. Well, Ken, considering what he went through, Tim Castle is incredibly strong. He choked up two times during our interview. Once when he talked about his wife and poor concern for not knowing what happened, and also when he thought about the park rangers who came to his rescue. It's a trip Tim Castle made every other week for six years from San Jose's Reed Hillview Airport to his family's resort in Death Valley. Did my normal free flight checks, got my my uh, pre-flight briefing. Last Monday, in perfect weather conditions, the 65-year-old pilot took off in his single-engine Piper Cherokee plane, yet 20 minutes away from his destination and 13,000 feet high above the San Joaquin Valley, the plane's propeller broke in half. Instantly, I saw this flash of something take off from the front of the airplane, and then it started vibrating so violently that I could see the cowling and the, the, the metal around the, and the and fiberglass around the front of the airplane start to buckle and shift and the plane was actually it felt like it was moving like this in the air. Descending at 2,000 feet per minute and 45 seconds to spare, Castle crash landed his plane in a remote canyon in the Sequoia National Park. As I'm fighting this aircraft down because it wasn't very friendly aircraft at that point. Uh, thinking please heavenly father let me at least survive this and i did he crawled out of his plane with three broken ribs two sprained ankles and fractures in his face after setting off the plane's emergency position indicating radio beacons to signal for help the one thing racing through his mind i was worried about her about my wife <clears throat> because i knew that she wouldn't know what was going on. And over the next several days, it would be difficult for her. I didn't care about the plane. I didn't care about anything in the plane except him. And um, just let us find him. He wrapped himself with blankets and an airplane cover to keep him warm throughout the night. The next morning, rescuers who picked up that emergency signal spotted his aircraft and spotted him waving a red blanket. So I looked out to my, to the, my right and I could see two rangers coming. It's pretty nice. The former Eagle Scout attributing his faith, his training as a pilot, and motivation to see his family again for his survival. Now he can't stop thanking his blessings. First blessing was I walked out of the aircraft, hobbled out of the aircraft, and was able to you know survive the first night and, and would have survived more had I had to. Well, Castle says a guardian angel was his co-pilot on that trip. He's grateful for those that helped him from the Sequoia National Park Rangers, the Civil Air Patrol, U.S. Air Force, to the doctors at the Community Regional Medical Center in Fresno. The NTSB and FAA investigated the crash, and the family is now working on removing the wreckage. Live in San Jose, Asit Smith, KTVU, Channel 2 News. Some stories.